Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I haven't posted in a really long time and I also got a dog, so that's cool. But in today's video, I'm not gonna be talking about my dog. I'm going to be talking about how often you should clean your crested gecko's tank and just how I clean mine. This is really helpful if you're a new crested gecko owner because yes, you do need to clean the tank. And I actually didn't know this um, for a really long time. And then once I figured it out, there wasn't really enough information about how often I should do it and what I should do. So I thought I would share with you guys what I do. As always, I'm not a professional. This is just talking from personal experience. So I hope you Something enjoy. that I do every day is I clean Cora's water dish. And this is really important, especially if your gecko is like mine and likes to bathe in it. So it's important to keep it clean, make sure there's no poo in there or any dirt. So I do that every day and I put fresh water. So the very first thing I do when cleaning Cora's tank is getting Cora out of the tank and putting her in a critter carrier, which looks like this. It's this little plastic box, but they can still breathe in it. And I put her in there and put some food or sometimes even feed her crickets in there so she's enjoying it and then I start cleaning the tank. First thing I do is take out all of Cora's plants and wash them in the sink, but I make sure to only wash it with water and no soap, no chemicals, because that can be very harmful to your gecko, so just make sure you wash it with water. After that, I get all of the moss and all of the old substrate and put it in a trash bag so I can throw it out. While doing this, you can wear gloves if you like, because it can get pretty messy and pretty gross. After doing that, your tank should be empty, no decor, no substrate, just an empty tank, and then you are ready to clean the sides of the tank. So this is an optional step, but a lot of people don't like the watermarks that the glass has on it after you spray the tank down, so a lot of people actually clean the glass as well when cleaning their gecko's tanks. And I read that it is safe to do it with white vinegar and water mixed together and you use that instead of like harsh chemicals like a window cleaner, but I don't know if I trust it, so you might want to do your own research on that, but just know that that is an option. The final step is to put back your clean plants into the tank and put clean, brand new substrate and moss. The substrate I use is the Zoomed Eco Earth Loose Coconut Fiber and Sphagnum Moss. And I also like to reorganize the plants in the tank every time I clean the tank just so that my gecko doesn't get bored and it seems like a new environment to them every time. I used to clean my tank every six weeks, but since I have a pretty big tank, I found that that was just unnecessary and too often, and so now I clean my tank every 10 weeks. And that's actually what I recommend to do, especially if you have a bigger tank like mine, then I recommend cleaning your Cressa Gecko tank every 10 weeks and doing all the steps that I talked about, removing the substrate and all that, every 10 weeks. Obviously, if you have paper towels, then you will probably have to do it more often than 10 weeks. And if you have a bioactive setup, then it will also vary. But if you have a similar setup to mine, then this is just what I recommend. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye!